Hey YouTube, this is Element of Fire 1329, and this is my video tutorial on how to put custom songs on Guitar Hero 2. I'll have Guitar Hero 3 on there later. Alright, first you'll have to go to schoolhero.com and create an account to get all the note charts. You also have to have the MP3 of any song you want to put on there. Now, what you'll have to do is you'll have to, where is it there? In the very middle, Guitar Hero Explorer, you'll have to download that. Um, when you do, you want to open it. When it comes up, it should look like this. Without the files over here. Now, when you, um, you have to take an original copy of Guitar Hero 2 or a burnt copy and stick it in the hard drive. When the files pop up, take every single file in there. There's IOP. Um, videos, SLUS, system, and something else, I don't remember what it is. If you want to, um, copy those into a file on your desktop, I've got mine right here. Gen, IOP, videos, SLUS, and system. Those are the five files you'll need. Now, when you do that, you want to come over here and in Guitar Hero Explorer, hit File, go to Archive, and Add. When it does, go through, find your, um, find your Guitar Hero 2 files, go into the Gen file of it, and double click on the main, the only one that should probably come up. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it, but when it does, it'll come up with the main right here. Click the plus beside it, and it shows all the files in it go down to songs and click the plus beside it. These, this shows all the songs in the, um, the game. Like this one is Arterial Black, which I've already changed so it's not, but there's the folder and there's the song file. You can play it up here if you want. You can stop it, volume, um, so on. Now, you'll have to click the plus beside the um, song you want and go down to the MIDI folder. This is the note chart. So after you download it from the score here or wherever, you want to right click, hit import, and find your note chart and then hit open. It'll bring it up. You can do that. For um, all the other songs, to do the song file, you'll have to go into the VGS file, which on all of them is under the MIDI. It says .VGS. Click import. Find your song file. Add it, flip for whatever it is, and put all these, if they're on the left sound thing, put them on the left. If they're on the right, set them as right. Some songs need an offset, so you want to right click your song and go to properties. There's the offset at the top and the volume. The offset just set as whatever it is and hit OK. You don't really have to mess with the volume. And hit OK and it will upload it. For Arterial Black, the VGS song is all the way at the bottom. This is the only song that's like that, so you'll have to import it on the very last one. When you do that, you want it to see if the notes are synced up. So let me get this song going. This song, let's see, we'll put in... This is the note chart I made, actually. You can make charts using feedback, but when you sync them, you hit the play button, and it should... Depending on your computer it might play slow or fast, but that blue line right there is where the song is. And it'll, you can, don't always rely on the fastest. You can come up here right there, it says 100%, take it down to 25, and it goes slow. So you can see if it's hitting on time, okay? And when it hits on time, just exit out of this. Okay. Then you want you have to open up. You have to download CD DVD ROM generator. Open that up. Go to create new project DVD ROM master disk, and it should look like this. Okay, just like that. Then you want to take your Guitar Hero 2 files and slide them into the where is it there the generator thing right here in this order. Gen IOP videos 
It's L U S two one four four seven in system. So it's like that. Gen I P videos S L U S and system. So once you got them in that order, go to volume right here. Type in for the disk name S L U S two one four four seven. Then go over to producer name and put in PlayStation. Okay. Right there. I can't really see this crappy camera. Then you want to go to license area and set it as America. Then you come over here and click file. Export IML file. Name it whatever you want and click save. Um, then you're going to have to open up Apache 2. DVD IML to ISO Apache 3 any of these, but I use Apache 2 because it's easier for me. If you want to go to File, and click Import IML File. Then you want to find yours, double click it, and it'll bring it up with everything in it. This one right now I have isn't for Guitar Hero 2, so don't worry about it, what it looks like. Then you come in here and click Build ISO, and then name it whatever you want, and click Save. It'll show a progress bar down here at the bottom, and when it gets to 100%, it'll say Building ISO Complete. After you do that, you want to open up DVD Decryptor. Stick in a um, blank um, DVD ROM minus R. You can use plus R, but minus R seems to work best. And um, then you want to click this file right here right there that is a button click it and find your um, ISO file after you've done that it'll show it right there it'll show you where the thing is then come down here and select whatever your DVD writing ROM is and set the write speed at four times then come over here and this thing right here that'll be green this is a button when you have your disk in it'll turn green and you click it and it'll burn once you burn um, just stick it in your PlayStation and play. I'll do a tutorial on how to play it, because most PlayStations, unless you have a modded PS2, won't play Burnt Disc. Thanks for watching. Bye.